Van de Zandy will be back next week. There you see it as we get a wide shot. The wishbone attack. Three backs set behind Marshall Taylor. And they also incorporate the run and shoot offense, John. Kind of a variation of the option game. First man through, and he's got some running room. It's a foot race now. That's Adam Dock past the 50, inside the 50-yard line. Knocked out of bounds at about the 42. Just a straight-ahead end off the dock, and he breaks it. Big splits in their line of scrimmage, and they got the line. Just watch it here. You talk about a big hole. Look at this. A great block there at the point of attack. And he, rocked, he runs off of Greg Thomas, a man that Wisconsin expects to make a lot of hits. He had a chance to stop him there, and he let him get out of his hand. Nelson is the punter. 13 punts thus far, a 34-yard average, trying to angle it for the coffin corner. He hangs it up there very nicely. The ball bounces around, and it's going to be down, and the Badgers will start deep in their own territory. They'll spot it at the two-yard line. A great kick by Nelson. Excellent punt, excellent coverage. The men coming down the field did the right thing they were supposed to do. They got themselves situated between the goal line and the end zone, and boom, they stuck. one. Two tight ends. What do you want to bet Marvin Artley gets the ball? Artley up and over, and it appears he's, as though he has enough for the first down. Tony Lowry says yes. The Northern Illinois defenders say no. It'll be very close to where they marked the ball. A little pushing and shoving going yeah, on there between Hollingshed and Todd Nelson. Well, well, I showed they could move the ball a little bit. I think that'll help them as this game goes on. Taylor. Has a man wide open over the middle of the field, and it's going to be gathered in by Clancy. Clancy evades White, and he's finally ridden down by Lamar White. Clancy one-on-one -on -one coverage and was wide open. Well, evidently, Wisconsin was a man-to-man -man coverage that time because we could see it from up here. The minute the play started, Clancy just broke over the middle, and there was only one man that was just about 10 feet behind him, and he was running clear for a touchdown. He had a little more speed. He'd have got six. A good pass by Marshall Taylor. There you see Lamar White finally coming into the picture. A little play action fake, which sometimes freezes people in the second. In Illinois' offense is right-handed. They like to run to the right side of the field most of the time. Well, they've been lined up with their tight end to the right side since this game started. They haven't had him on the left side at all. This time they go to the right side, and they have running room. And it's written down to the five-yard line inside the five-yard line. The other half of the Taylor tandem, Rodney Taylor, he had a nice hold, did a nice job of cutting it back. Well, that's the old crossbuck play. They send one back to the left, the other back behind him to the right, and there was a nice hole there, and he went right through it. Got a good block by his fullback. Written down by Greg Thomas. Big play for both sides here in a scoreless game. Seven minutes exactly here in the first quarter. Touchdown for Northern Illinois and Adam Dock. The Huskies draw first blood. Well, they had two backs leading him in. They did a good job of getting off the mark. Once again over the right side with both backs leading. He was clearly in the end zone for a touchdown. So a good drive. Of course, a drive set up by the long passing play for Marshall Taylor to Mark Clancy. Well, that was a big drive for Northern Illinois. Look. Wisconsin, of course, started on the one and a half and drove it all the way down, got stopped, and that gave them some momentum. There's no doubt about it, and they took the ball and moved it right down the field. John Ivanik in for the point after. Out of Moline, Illinois, a sophomore. According to Street Smith, could be a preseason All-American candidate. The kick is up, and it's good. So Northern Illinois on a successful drive caps it off with a point after. They lead. 7-0 with 6.57 to go in the first quarter. You're down, but you're certainly not out. That's what you want to tell your troops, right, John? Oh, certainly they're not. Here's the touchdown. They're both backs leading him through on the right side. Plenty of opening for him to get in the end zone. He just kind of rode the wave of the blockers there. They almost carried him in. Watch it. Well, here you'll see the offensive line. They get off the mark, and they beat their people, take them back, and now it's easy for the back to get in. Well, there's no reason for him to be down. Wisconsin took the ball and drove it. They got stopped on a gamble play. Uh, and they went for one yard, but so far, at least when they've had the ball, they've shown the ability to stop them. I think the big thing here is they've got to stop. This time from the 30-yard line, Wisconsin down, 7-0. This time he hooks it to the far side. Peters at about the 11-yard line has a hole, and he has a fumble, and it's recovered by Northern Illinois. The Huskies make the recovery, number 34, Steve Christian. Well, I don't know what happened. He certainly wasn't hit when he fumbled the ball. It looked like he was trying to stretch it out and make a break, whether he was trying to change the ball in his hands, I don't know. But that's certainly a big break for Northern Illinois right there. We'll see it again in the replay. 
So Ivanic comes Ivanic comes back in. This is just a little shift formation by Northern Illinois. Why do they do that? Well, they do it to make you play defense. In other words, you've got to line people up over there. Are they liable to do something? They have a playoff of that formation. The kick is up. And it's good. So Northern Illinois converts on the Wisconsin fumble. And Northern now leads Wisconsin 10 to nothing. As Ivanic connects on his third field goal of the fall. And the Huskies have come out crowding here. Illinois pushed back and into their end zone. Fester in motion. And at the point of attack, Boom. Artley was really met and met hard by the Huskies. Ron DeLisi. DeLisi, DeLisi just did a magnificent job. Penetration, and that's what we just said they can't do. They've got to drive him back. DeLisi just comes right through clean. See him? Boom. Well, that was actually yeah, the was, was the second was man. Caliendo was right. the first man to get through, and it was people. the full house backfield once again, split to the near side. Kurt Cassidy Taylor wants to throw, does has a man wide open, coming back for the ball and making the catch for the Huskies. Yes. And that's number 13, Mike Strasser. He had a knee injury, was not expected to play, but apparently the knee is okay. And Strasser comes in. He's out of South Beloit, Illinois, and he makes a big play for the Huskies. Well, that's another throwback play that's worked about two or three times a day. All the action goes one way, as you see, and then boom, he turns and throws the ball back the other way. He was wide open. Linebacker coverage on him. Kissling was down there with Strasser, and Strasser had to get down. They spotted on the 41, Wisconsin, trailing 10-3. Lowry down the line, and he was hit before he ever got a chance to release it, making the stop for the Huskies. Was that 90? Bill Foley, yes, it was. It was Bill right. Foley. We've got Bester over here to the right. Hey, you see the numbers on Lowry thus far. Nine of ten. Excellent day. Lowry has time to tie it in. Anderson jarred from the ball. And they say Northern Illinois has the recovery. I waited yeah, he was, he Anderson was really is hit. still down. He was really hit on that play. I think that's a good call by the official. I think he had control of the football. Boy, he was hit that time. Ball came loose and Northern Illinois recovered it. Whew. Darren Buchanan made the, the recovery. Let's see who made the hit, though. That's what created That's the play. Good. Right there, number nine. Number nine, Mike Manson, who finished off <laughs> Anderson. That's tough to hang on to that ball under those circumstances. He got hit low, and then boom, he got hit high. And I think he did have possession of it. And it's a big recovery. Kicking with the win, so even though it's going to be a rather lengthy attempt with the win, it should certainly aid his attempt. The Badger defense faced with a fourth and six as Ivanic will come in. Someday they'll use it. When you least expect it. 44 yard attempt. Is it long enough? Into the sun, the referees look and they spot it, and it's good. A 44 yard attempt by John Ivanic. Hit that one really good. Uh, that was high and straight down the middle. So, 73 was their, their best start. Back when they were a Mid America Conference school. This is the type of game. Cutback. Inside play, inside handoff to Steve Vinci. He gets across the 50 yard line down to about the 48 for Wisconsin. Helped up by center Keith Peterson. Ball right at the 40 yard line. Straight ahead, Marvin Hartley. Look out to the 20. Inside the 15, fumble picked up. Sean Peters. You can't advance a fumble in college football. They'll spot the ball inside or at the five-yard line. That's a great play, but in college it doesn't work. Sean Peters in the right place at the right time. Yeah, the offense, the offense can always advance the ball. That's a touchdown. Gotta be. No, uh -uh. they threw, they threw the beanbag there. That should be the last play of the half. Taylor got a structure from the sidelines. Marshall let it tick down, and that's what's going to happen. So at the end of the first half of play, Wisconsin goes into the locker room on the short end of it, trailing Northern Illinois 13 10. Keith Peterson, the center, 14. Tony Lowry, the quarterback, second and four. Lowry 
Pitch back to Vinci. Vinci, nice block from Hartley. Goes to the outside, ridden down on a very nice tackle of fumble. fumble. And they can, cannot advance the fumble advance that, that time. <laughs> exactly right, but they recovered the ball right there at about the 39-yard line. Good block that time to bring him loose. Kevin Cassidy was the one that was on the ball. Here we see the replay. This is predetermined. Hartley's going to lead him out there. Got, got a good block for Marvin. And who stripped him of the ball? He just not knocked it out of his hands. Number 58 for the Huskies. Did a nice job there. That's three times today that uh, they've Higgins. actually been stripped the ball. Uh, the one time, of course, when Anderson got it, that's a little different. But Clock ticking away. 11-11 in the third period. The Badgers trail 14-10. Here comes a blitz. Lowry stopped in his tracks. Uh, more than all, I guess right that time. Uh, Wisconsin lined up with two tight ends and Northern Illinois decided to bring their outside defensive back, and he ran right into the face of the bootleg. Mike Hollingshed, an ex-strong safety, has been moved to the linebacking spot. Really can't see it from here because he comes in from the far side of the screen, and Lowry never even had a chance to set up because he was swarmed under by Hollingshed, the senior out of Detroit. Just some breakdowns within the line have been the problems on this drive. Lowry gets a good drop back this time. Hangs it up, in and out of the hands. Intended receiver there was Bill Williams. I don't know that it would have been a completed pass anyway because he would have been ridden out of bounds. Well, they had pretty good coverage on it. They had a man behind him and a man in front of him. He threw a ball in there, but as you said, he might have been out of bounds even if he caught it. So we'll see Brad Brecky for the second time this afternoon. Brecky had one. 5-0-3, the ball spotted at the 26-yard line. Lowry decided to keep it maybe the pitch was called for there Mike Higgins stopped the number 14. Well, Northern Illinois do a good job of changing up their defense they're not giving them the same look all the time and that makes it difficult. A little touchdown pass from Lowry to Brian Anderson gave them the lead. Lowry fumble. fumble. Northern Illinois has it. <laughs> Just not a good mesh there is they the terminology like they like to use and the ball recovered by Ron DeLisi. Well, that's one of the things about DeVere. Right there, there was a little question that time, right at the point of attack when he made the fake, whether he's going to keep it or come down the line. And I think he got hit right in the transition period there. Here it is. Well, he was almost being tackled there. He should go down and just put both arms around it. Yeah, that's what Somebody say. had a hold of his ankle, and then the next man came in and just knocked the ball loose. You've got to credit the Badger defense with a good stand there. A little more than a point after almost for Ivanic. They'll spot it to 13, 23 yard attempt. Kick is up. And it's good. So Northern chalks up three more points, but it's not a bad three points for Wisconsin defense because football coach. Right now, Northern Illinois is alive. They believe they're in this thing. They are. Look at the scoreboard. It's 17 <laughs> 16. Uh, he was back on the field. 34 Marvin Artley. Do they do the expected? Give him the ball? Yes, they do. And he's going to be stopped shy of the first down, making the hit Bill Foley. Foley has done a nice job this afternoon. Well, he really has. What they do is they line those people up. Right. Fans get into it a little bit. Doc Delone running back. Taylor. Looks to the near side, unloads, and it's caught. A nice fingertip grab by Kurt Cassidy. Excellent catch that time. Good protection. It came rolling out to his right. And that's some of the things that have worked well for him early in the game was coming out on the roll here. We haven't seen much of this at all. They've gotten away from it. Great catch. Hurry. Full house backfield returns. Doc is the ball carrier up the middle, still running, still running. Call the one-man backfield. You got a glimpse of it. Why there is he just dragged Brad Mayo with him for about five to seven yards. You know, that's what Veer and Wishbone do is they keep doing the, you know, we've been talking about, geez, they gave it to the fullback again. They gave it again. Here they give it to him. Somebody overruns it, and boom, he's right into the secondary. Dan Batch was the man that was in there initially, but he couldn't bring him down, and Brad Mayo had a heck of a time. He'd like to get six if possible if you're that man. Very So Ivanic, they'll spot it at the 21-yard line. A 31-yard attempt for Ivanic, the sophomore from Moline, Illinois. Good snap, good kick. The Huskies have the lead. With 1.24 remaining, they lead Wisconsin 19-17. 
Well, that was a good drive there. They mixed their plays up well and a great play by Taylor. I'm sure the stats aren't going to show that he had a big day today, but I'll tell you that one move he made to get the first down was really a big play. Ivanic lets you know about it, doesn't he? <laughs> well, he's a real kicker. There's no doubt about that. All of his kicks have been really high and true. He's done a good job. A good protection, good snap. Everything had to work right, and it did. Northern Illinois has kept their poiser. You have to say that for them throughout this entire game. They, they've kept their composure and done a good job. Here you see some of the Husky faithful that made the trip to Madison from the Cal Illinois. Christ is the holder. Comes down one play. Does Thompson have enough leg? A low line drive shot. No good. Off to the left. And that will just about do it. One second remaining. He had enough leg he on it. He had enough leg, but it just shot off to the left. Both officials right there. Signal that went off to the left. And the, the clock is one second remaining on the clock. We'll see what they do right here. More than Illinois ball. See if they make him run the play or not. If we can get from the other end zone a chance, because you don't really get a good perspective there to see how close that one was. That was a line drive. He gave it all he had. Just a little bit to the left. He had the leg. Here it is. But you're not going to be able to see just a lot of pressure on him right that time. There, there it is. is. Follow the ball there. See it just, oh, oh boy. just took right there to the left. He had the leg. Uh, you can't say that Rich Thompson didn't do oh. everything within his power to win it. One second remaining. The quarterback will just kneel down. A big victory here for Northern Illinois. And that's it. So Northern Illinois comes into Madison, and for the first time ever, they have beaten the Big Ten foe. They tied Northwestern last year 16-16, and Jerry Pettibone and his Huskies walk off the field with a big victory over Wisconsin 19-17. John and a you can't say enough about the way Northern Illinois held their poise throughout the game today. Well, that's the thing I was most amazed at. It. Uh, they came in here, you knew they were going to be all fired up and doing a lot of things. But the thing that amazed me is when it really got tough in the third quarter and fourth quarter, they kept their poise and they kept going. In fact, I thought they were being a little conservative for a while, but it worked out all right for Pettibone. He was able to keep his team right in there. You think Pettibone will give John Ivanic their place kicker the game ball after this? Well, one? I tell you, Ivanic has a lot, a lot of poise. He kicked a lot of balls today under pressure, did a good job. Northern Illinois came in two weeks as the Badgers open up their Big Ten season against Michigan. The final count, Wisconsin losing to Northern Illinois, 19 to 17. Catch a wave and you're sitting on top of the world. Don't be afraid.